to take us into extra time. It is a tall order for Liverpool. However, they've produced remarkable and memorable nights in the past, Alan Shearer here. And the crowd have done their bit, as we knew they would. It's now over to the players. They don't have to go crazy, they don't have to go for them in the first 10 or 15 minutes. They can afford to sit tight and be patient and stay in this game. The referee is Kunya Shakir from Turkey. If you're looking for omens, he was the referee when Liverpool produced that incredible comeback against Borussia Dortmund. As from the kickoff, Liverpool looked to go and press Barcelona. And in the programme notes tonight from Jurgen Klopp, the message was as follows. This Liverpool never stops. This Liverpool never quits. We don't do, if only. Well, we will find out if Liverpool can produce it. However, Messi comes forward now. He might have something to say in the opening seconds, but he's stopped. And it was a challenge by Robertson. Messi's only now getting himself to the floor. As Milner will play it forward. Liverpool playing from right to left. Mane. Listen to the Anfield court route roar. Early chance, just nicked away from Henderson at the far post. Behind for a corner kick. What a start from Liverpool. They've gone for him from the off. Lovely run from Marne into a Regan. We just thought Henderson was going to stretch that leg out there, but just passed him. Corner Liverpool. They said they'd have to take it step by step. He talked about celebrating this Champions League occasion with their legs and their lungs. The Liverpool supporters are doing their bit with their lungs. The Liverpool players with their legs. Messi is still having a word with Robertson from the way that he was stopped for that early breakaway for Barcelona. And the Turkish referee has prevented the corner kick from take, being taken. And he's having a word with Messi and Robertson, who are still having a war of words. Yeah, when Robertson, Messi thought he was fouled by uh, Robertson, stayed on the ground. And just as Robertson was walking past him, he put his hand on his shoulder, whether he... He said something to him in his ear or not, but Messi clearly wasn't happy with that. It is deafening inside Anfield. Corner kick for Liverpool, far side the right. In it goes towards the near post. Fabinho tried to meet it. Suarez then will clear that ball away. Only as far as Henderson, and Henderson goes back to Alisson. BBC Radio 5 Live. We also have our friends from BBC Radio Merseyside who are with us here at Anfield on a raucous night where Liverpool are defending the cop end so they'll be attacking the cop end in the second half just as they were against Borussia Dortmund three years ago but Inter Milan in 65, San Etienne in 77 Olympiacos, Chelsea there have been unforgettable nights at Anfield but it would probably top the lot if they could add Barcelona in 2019 to that list of unforgettable nights here on this famous ground. Van Dijk to Matty, just short of the halfway line. Forward to Alexander-Arnold, early touch inside to Henderson, gives it away to Busquets. Liverpool will try and win it back. Fabinho to Origi. Barcelona now, Sergio Roberto, and the clearance by Piquet. Booed because of his Manchester United connections, and it runs off the head of Matty and back to Alisson. Alan Shearer. It's noticeable when Liverpool have the uh, the ball there. They're just tucking Coutinho in that left-hand side there to try and make it a four in midfield rather than a three to make that extra number in there. We're also on the red button, the BBC iPlayer and the BBC Sport website tonight with our commentary. Tomorrow night we're in Amsterdam. Thursday night we're in Valencia. The European Games live from inside the stadium come thick and fast. And this is National Radio commentary exclusive to BBC Radio 5 live this evening, 0-0 Henderson looks to turn midway through the Barcelona half, Matty, forward ball Shakiri favoured left foot, tried to play it forward but it went behind Mane and to Stegen will clear but it's been a very lively start both on and off the pitch, four minutes played 0-0, Roberto will go back to to Stegen I thought Shakiri would have been better off having a shot there, you know, he tried to pick his head up and play the pass, instead of had a pocket goal. It's only 20, 22 yards out. Falling a little bit out of favour as the Swiss international last start before tonight was against Leicester City on the 30th of January. Hasn't scored since Boxing Day against Newcastle United here. You were here that day, weren't you? I was here. 11 games without a goal for Shakiri. It's that front three with Origi and Mane in the absence of 
Firmino and Salah. They're hoping that Salah will be back for the final day. Their five Live will bring you all the drama. Manchester City 95 points, Liverpool 94. What a titanic tussle that has been. Manchester City are at Brighton, Liverpool are at home to Wolves. That's on Sunday, but this is the Champions League and it's live on Five Live. As the ball is bowled out by Allison, the bearded goalkeeper all in grey. Robertson plays it forward on this near side, the left. PK right behind Mane stabs it out of play for a throw that Liverpool want to take quickly. Milner will leave it to Robertson. They've been playing for just over five minutes. Fabinho out to Mane on this near side, the left. Level of the penalty area, they've doubled up on him. Challenge comes in from Vidal behind for a corner kick, Liverpool. And that was good from Alisson, you know, when he collects that ball there, he gets it and he, he fizzes that ball out to the to the fullback with pace on it just to keep the momentum going and they go straight up the other end and get the corner. Cries of Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. As Alexander-Arnold, the young England international, comes across to this near side, the left to take it in front of the travelling section of support from Barcelona. Look how crowded that six-yard area is. There is a clutch of luminous shirts. There's four red shirts in there as well as it's played in towards the near post from Alexander-Arnold in the corner. Henderson tries to play it back to him. Interception from Rakitic, sliding. And then Milner inside the centre circle, back to Allison just outside the D of his penalty area at the cop end of downfield. Six minutes played, nil-nil. Shakiri collects a diagonal ball, goes infield to Matip. Robertson is on the outside of him on this near side. Matip though with a diagonal ball. Mane has popped up on the right, actually gets there Mane. Nicks it inside, Henderson into the penalty area. Henderson on the follow-up, Origi! The flag stays down, and Liverpool have made the perfect start inside seven minutes. That's the only goal they wanted. They lead by a goal to nil. It's Origi. What a start for Liverpool. If you thought this place was rocking before, and listen to it now. A crossfield ball from Fabino, who then finds Henderson in there. I thought he'd fluffed the chance. Keeper makes a good save. Origi tucks it into the back of the net. They're going crazy. It will be checked as a matter of course by VAR. But the goal stands. And Liverpool have the start that they wanted. Divock Origi. They're on the attack again. Milner to Mane. You think... And that was brilliant play from Mane, you know, because he read the poor header from Alba, I think it was. He tried to head it back, but he intercepted that and he kept that ball moving. And Origi on the follow-up from Tostegan, who just couldn't keep it out from Henderson. Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. Suarez, though, is on the attack. Running forward over on that far side, Matic comes across. Liverpool have a goal. The crucial factor is they still have to deny Barcelona from scoring. Because one goal for Barcelona and Liverpool then will require five. But in terms of making the perfect start, Liverpool have just produced it. Didn't Suarez say he was going to be respectful in front of the cop? <laughs> A leopard cannot change its spots. So, Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. They trail 3-1 on aggregate. Corner kick, though, for Barcelona over on that far side in front of the cop. In it goes. Shakira on the edge of the area has sliced his clearance. Touched forward by Alexander-Arnold. Mane. Mane's been everywhere. He's been on the left, he's been on the right. Origi might... Oh, as the back pass went to Stegen. Origi, and he put out an outstretched foot, might have got there. Shakiri. Liverpool have momentum. Henderson. Far side the right. They've just got to keep their composure. But they lead by a goal to nil. I thought Origi could have stuck his foot out there, you know. I didn't got that. That was a terrible back pass. I just thought, I don't know why he didn't. Well, I spoke to many people in the football world over the last few days and I said, if it could happen, there's one place where you would say it, wouldn't it be Anfield? And certainly in these opening nine minutes or so, they are threatening to produce the unexpected as Mane cuts forward, goes down. He's told to get up by the Turkish referee, Kunit Shakir. Went down a little bit too easily. 
Liverpool pick up the loose ball. Liverpool at the minute though, Alan, are winning every ball. They are so superior and sharper. And, and that ball there, that Van Dijk has played, has been a key already. There's been one from Matip and then another one from there from, uh, from Van Dijk that got Liverpool in, uh, in front. And they also, when uh, Origi chased that back pass down, that was also a long ball. Ball drilled out from that far side. Alexander Arnold, who still stayed out on this near side, the left, couldn't keep it in play. Is that a permanent switch at the minute? They don't seem willing to, to change, do they? Alexander Arnold stayed on the left, and, and Robertson, the left back, on the right. Here is Suarez. Challenge comes in from Fabinho. What a challenge that was. Oh, he's got a yellow card for it. 70% possession for Liverpool in these early stages. I thought that was a hard but a fair challenge, you know. Suarez went into it also, aggressively, rolling over. He got the ball. It was firm, very firm. But, but it looked a fair challenge. Fabinho, however, has been booked for that challenge on Suarez. Tell you what, Suarez certainly felt the effects of it, didn't it? Welcome back to Anfield. And a couple of rolls over as well. Bit well. walking perfectly now. Anfield's rocking. BBC Radio 5 Live and BBC Radio Merseyside. Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. We've been playing for just over 11 minutes. Barcelona have won 38 of 42 UEFA ties when they've won the first leg at home. I wasn't good at maths at school, so with the aid of a calculator, I've worked out that that is a 90% success ratio. You could say that's a 10% success chance for Liverpool, but then you're missing Firmino and Salah. Does it reduce that? <laughs> they haven't told these Liverpool players. Because if they want to fail in the most beautiful way, they have certainly started that in these opening 12 minutes as they lead by a goal to nil. And all of a sudden, we can get our breaths because it's a goal kick to Barcelona. Origi's goal after seven minutes for Liverpool. And that's why these Liverpool supporters still believe. To Stegen to take the goal kick, looks to go right down the middle. But he's pulled it out of play. And it'll be a Liverpool throw on that far side. You see, even at 1-0 at half-time, attacking the cop end, it's still on, isn't it? It's still on because they haven't conceded yet. We said... It, it was a brilliant opportunity for them because they know they'd go after uh, after Barcelona and close them down. They did exactly that, and the crowd reacted to them as well. What a start for them! It is the start that everybody inside Anfield of a Liverpool pers persuasion wanted. Fabinho lifted across towards that far side. Now Alexander Arnold is back in his customary position on that right hand side. Goes out of play. It will be a Liverpool throw, just short of the halfway line as it goes infield, Milner's going to come under pressure from Vidal turns and his curling ball reaches the feet of Robertson, head down over the halfway line, Messi goes to confront him Robertson then midway through the Barcelona half tries to nick it inside, Mane has been superb, very sharp here he is picking up that ball, his anticipation he's reading everything at the, mar at the minute he's playing as a midfielder as well as an attacker Van Dijk now at the back crossfield ball Shakiri brings it down off his left foot. Nice touch. Tries to wriggle away from his man. Goes to ground. No free kick. Barcelona under pressure. Will build from the back. Busquets looks to turn. Vidal closed down by Milner. Messi. Van Dijk chases him. Vidal quickly tries to switch play. Flag stays down over on that far side. Barcelona coming forward. Right hand side. Ball pulled back. Messi tipped over by Alisson. Corner kick. Brilliant play from both Coutinho and Alba down that left-hand side and just got to the byline and pulled it back for Messi there. Good save. First time they've been a real threat down there. Alisson had to be alert, comfortable height, round head height to tip it around for a corner kick. Liverpool still lead by a goal to nil. The Barcelona goal would really deflate the atmosphere. Corner kick is swung over, headed away by Matic, collected by Shakiri corner of his own penalty area, drifts out towards the right touchline and will win a throw. Didn't really have much else on the, uh, the Swiss international. As Alexander-Arnold will go across towards the far side to take the, uh, the throw. 
Not much movement for him. He just joined us. Origi has scored for Liverpool after seven minutes. They lead by a goal to nil on the night. Liverpool have never lost both legs of a European semi-final. They are a club with a proud and illustrious history in this competition. And despite the odds being stacked against them, they're giving it a go as you'd expect. Pique plays it forward. Last time Barcelona lost by three goals to nil was when they lost in the competition last year to Roma. Roma, though, had the benefit of an away goal from the new Camp before they return to the Stadio Olimpico. There is no insurance policy for Liverpool. That's why they have to guard against the Barcelona goal tonight. As Roberto plays the ball forward, Busquets sweeps it down blindly. Fabinho makes the challenge against Messi. Alba on that far side. Coutinho is ahead of him. Former Liverpool player. Comes under a bit of pressure. Busquets, Vidal. Now they're seeing a lot more of the ball of Barcelona as they trail by a goal to nil, 16 minutes played. Busquets plays it forward, Alvaro strokes it back, opportunity, Messi wanted too many touches, now the flag is raised. The Liverpool fans aren't happy, but the, the UEFA officials are told to delay the flag. What was he doing passing then? He's through one-on-one -on -one and goal, he picks his head up and tries to find Messi instead of going for the goal. Surprised that he seems so reluctant. Shakiri, Fabinho, forward of the centre circle, Robertson, near side the left, about 10 yards in from the touchline, goes back to Milner, Van Dijk. Much better from Barcelona that though, wasn't it? Keeping the ball, passing it, everyone getting a touch of it. Beautiful run from Alba down that left-hand side. And you could sense the nervousness as well when Barcelona are in possession because everybody is aware of what a Barcelona goal would do to the dynamic of the tie Henderson the dynamic of a tie can you imagine what this place will go like if Liverpool go 2-0 up Mane brings it down off his chest right corner of the penalty area tries to get away from uh, from his man plays it in Lenglet was behind him low cross cleared by Piquet back out towards that right hand side Henderson plays it back Alexander Arnold scoops the ball forward Shakiri was there Lenglet will turn Stab back, penalty area, it goes to and cleared away, swept downfield then by Piquet. Headed back by Mati, comes under pressure, Milner from Vidal, wins the ball in the halfway line. Messi now running at the heart of the Liverpool defence to Coutinho, good save by Alisson and pushes the ball away from Suarez. Very good save, Barcelona is still threatening. Roberto inside, Rakitic, little flick there by Coutinho, Alba on the overlap in towards the near post, turn behind for a corner kick. Brilliant from Lionel Messi. James Milner gets the ball nicked off him on the halfway line. Messi's driving forward and he just pushes that out to the left-hand side for Coutinho. And Alisson did very well, you know, because he didn't push it back into the middle of the goal. He pushed it away from goal. Very good save. It's been an excellent Champions League semi-final second leg on five live. Corner kick for Barcelona. Didn't beat the first man. Headed away. Barcelona with Messi! Stru strikes it just wide. Left footed edge of the area. Pulled it. That looked close. What a game we've got on here. It's end to end. Barcelona are finding their passing moves now. And he's hanging around on the edge of the box from the uh, from the corner there. And just as we've seen pulling the trigger there, you're thinking, oh no, but it just goes wide. Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. Alisson to Matty. Tomorrow night we're in Amsterdam as Tottenham will look to try and get the early goal to wipe out that Donny van der Beek goal that they conceded at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium this time last week. Here we are though at Anfield as Van Dijk picks up on a loose ball and just plays it forward. Fabinho. Robertson now the left back. Back to Fabinho just outside the centre circle. Matip on the halfway line plays it forward. Origi turns, sharp turn as well. Origi coming forward, loses out to Vidal. Liverpool win it back through Henderson. Fabinho plays it forward. Referee though has given a free kick in favour of Barcelona. It's a similar tackle to Fabinho's, wasn't it? And Milner just thought that was hard and fair as well. Was he a little bit late though? It was on uh, Sergio Roberto. Takes a little bit of the ball, but his follow-through catches him as well, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's a free kick to uh, to Barcelona. Alan Shearer with us here on BBC Radio 5 Live. 
don't know what it is about you, but you always seem to attract the big, the exciting games. I thought you were going to say the goals. Well, we know that. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Your record speaks for itself. But every time you appear on Five Live, I don't think you've done a, a duffer yet, have you? <laughs> don't speak too soon. Alisson clears downfield, Liverpool 1-0 up. 20 minutes played. And there's two balls in operation at the minute, and that's why there is a, a delay. So it's a Barcelona throw over on that far side. Certainly the Liverpool supporters know how to generate an atmosphere on a European night. That was late. Milner this time, wasn't it, on Suarez? Of all of them, that's the one where you'd say maybe a yellow card. Because he was late, yet Fabinho was booked, Henderson was given a warning, and Milner was very fortunate, I think, to, uh, to avoid a yellow. Suarez, he's put on a little bit of timber, hasn't he? Suarez not so quick. How is it getting on a bit? But it was his goal last week, his first, typically, in the Champions League against his former side that set Barcelona on their way to a 3-0 victory in the new Camp. Of course, Messi added his magic in the last quarter of an hour. And Messi, who has a record of scoring against English opposition, mind you, with 600 goals, he has a record of scoring against anybody, really. But Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. As Henderson downfield finds Mane. Mane all alone in the centre circle. Comes forward. Vidal in pursuit. Mane plays it forward, Henderson had made a run through, comes out from the Barcelona clearance to Fabinho, Shakiri floats it in, headed away by Lenglet, picked back up by Robertson, Henderson is there, takes a deflection, cleared away by Alba, and it comes off an outstretched leg of Fabinho and out of play for a Barcelona throw on the far side of the left, 1-0 Liverpool. They're worried about Mane, they don't, they don't know whether to go tight on him or sit off on him, and, and at the minute they're doing neither, and he's causing them all sorts of problems, he had a brilliant start to the game he has. Good work from Robertson again down the left-hand side, just pulling it back to the edge of the box. Mane, who has scored 11 goals in his last 11 Anfield appearances, is having an excellent game, he is being a real nuisance, he is being a pest. But the referee has uh, given a foul against, uh, against Mane, which has been taken by Barcelona, that free kick, Rakitic. They'll want to try and slow things down, the tempo won't suit Barcelona the way that Liverpool are playing. Has carrying and, and hassling and trying to put them under pressure. Leading by a goal to nil midway through this first half. PK now will come forward. And Van Dijk just wrestles Suarez to the floor, plays it early. Mane inside the penalty area. Mane waits. Inside left channel, gets the shot away, comes out to Robertson, beaten away by Tischtegen. That was moving in the air. Tischtegen made a flying save. As again, Suarez goes to ground and the referee has bought it, rolling around and gets the free kick, and Suarez wants the referee to show a yellow card to Van Dijk. That was brilliant from Van Dijk again, you know, he just took the ball off Suarez in front of him, and then placed a beautiful ball into, uh, into Mane, who was left one-on-one, -on -one. His, his touch just took him too far towards the byline, and then pulled it back for Robertson to have that stinging shot into the goalkeeper. They adored him. At times, they're defending him when he was a Liverpool player. He scored 69 goals in 110 appearances in the Premier League. But he's just been with cries of cheat, 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 labelled at the Uruguayan. Liverpool have a slender advantage on the night. They still trail by two goals on aggregate. Five Live and BBC Radio Merseyside here at Anfield. Matty pops it up, Alexander-Arnold down into the ground, Henderson to Shakiri. Shakiri plays it forward, Mane again in between the two central defenders, Henderson again does well to read that, heads it forward, Milner plays it out towards Origi, Origi's ball into the penalty area, cleared away by Piquet. Henderson keeps making those late runs into the penalty area, the booze will tell you that Suarez, Suarez is on the ball, and Van Dijk once again was putting him under pressure, Messi. Little touch with the head there to Alba. Back to Messi. Over the halfway line. Rakitic. Frenetic second 
leg of this semi-final. Ball played up towards Suarez, excellent defending by Robertson. On the cover, the left back with an outstretched foot just to guide it to Alisson to prevent the ball from reaching Suarez. Beautiful tackle that was, timed to perfection, wasn't it? Because you just saw Suarez drifting in, trying to get in behind him there. Rakitic now will come running forward for Barcelona. Alba making ground on that far side. The left back reaches the ball. Alba's cross from the left hand side. Messi heads it on. Headed away by Fabinho. Mane on the edge of his area. He will clear. He's everywhere. It's Sadio Mane. Arigi holds the ball up. Out towards Shakiri. Shakiri now runs at Busquets. Comes on the inside. And then he just loses the ball and Lenglet steps forward and then gives the ball away. The pace of this game is just relentless. I'm amazed at Barcelona because every time they get a free kick or a throw in, they're taking it quickly. I thought they'd try and kill the game. They're being sucked into Liverpool's passage of play. They're trying to match them stride for stride, matching them with the tempo. It suits Liverpool. It's like two heavyweight boxers slugging it out. The worry, though, for Liverpool is that a Barcelona goal be the equivalent of a knockout blow. And that's what Liverpool still have to guard against. But they lead by a goal to nil. But Liverpool, in these 26 minutes, and in particular Mane, have been fantastic. Rakitic. But you'd think with the experience that Barcelona have, they would try to kill the, to the tempo, they would try to silence the crowd. Look at, you've got Busquets, a Pique in there, Messi in there. I'm absolutely right, I just think one of them would put their foot on the ball and just say, no, we're going to control this game, or try and control this game at our pace. But they've just gone after it, they say exactly the same as what Liverpool have. Intoxicating, not only is the spectacle, but also as the atmosphere, as these two sides battle it out for a place in the final in Madrid, where Barcelona are on course for a treble. They've wrapped up the title. They've got the Copa del Rey against Valencia in Seville to look forward to on the 25th of this month. And then they want to be in Madrid for the Champions League final. Liverpool still posing questions. They lead by a goal to nil. Busquets to Rakitic. Now the game is just starting to slow down and Barcelona are doing what we've been talking about that they weren't before. Lenglet forward. Coutinho out towards that far side Rakitic keeping the ball Rakitic makes the run down the left hand side Suarez making a run into the penalty area Vidal is also forward little touch by Suarez Messi looking to turn takes it outside the penalty area with his back to goal here is Messi plays it forward Rakitic with the cross and turn behind by Robertson Messi just hanging around the 18-yard box, wasn't he? He picks his head up and he sees Rakitic run into that 18-yard box and he, he, on the volley, he just tries to ping it across the, uh, the goal there. But good defending again from Robertson, I think it was, who got it away. In the build-up to that attack, Liverpool were complaining that Coutinho had checked Fabinho as the corner is taken short on this right-hand side. They're attacking the cop end, playing from left to right. Messi swings over the cross. It's deep inside the penalty area. Flags up on this near side. The cheers will tell you that. <laughs> One guess who was offside. Suarez. And Liverpool take the free kick short. Just under half an hour. Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. Shakiri. Fabinho, Alexander-Arnold will get a throw. That game against Borussia Dortmund will live long in the memory in 2016. And I remember, in fact, it might have been a Coutinho goal in the second half. But I'm saying, I wonder what that'll do for the atmosphere. I said, that's what it does for the atmosphere. And the same applies tonight. If Liverpool were to score the second goal Absolutely. to take the within touching distance of Barcelona, as Barcelona have two players down, Jordi Alba. And I'm trying to see who the other player is on that far side. Alba is back on his feet. Lenglet is the other one who's uh, who's down. And now all of a sudden, it seems like they're uh, they're Ooh, we, can have a, we can have a little bit of a breather now. <laughs> There's a stoppage in the game. There hasn't been too much opportunity for that for what has been a breathless 
first 30 minutes here at Anfield and in this stoppage Jurgen Klopp is having a word with his lieutenant James Milner down in front of us and what's it going to be is it going to be a drop ball Barcelona will have to give it back to Liverpool because yeah. Liverpool had possession so it is knocked back by Rakitic and Alisson will chest the ball forward Fabinho Van Dijk midway through the Liverpool half now with Matic Henderson's forward on the right Origi and Mane through the middle Milner's on the left hand side so they have width as Origi drifts out towards Henderson the two combine Origi back to Henderson nice little turn runs into trouble loses the ball Barcelona with Busquets turns and Alba will clear Henderson has stayed down and therefore there is another stoppage in play and that's the last thing that Liverpool would want because he and in fact it's just he's shaking his head Jurgen Klopp muttering to himself because he knows that he can't afford another injury and not when you've got the energetic Henderson being that driving force from midfield but Henderson's not moving well, it was good play from him and Origi and good interplay between the both of them little one two give and go and he just overruns it does Henderson and catches gets caught on the uh, on the knee a little bit late so Henderson is getting treatment and Jurgen Klopp will be anxiously watching on Wijnaldum would be the natural replacement because the other substitutes Brewster and Woodburn very young Sturridge Gomez and Lovren so Wijnaldum would be the one in fact uh, Wijnaldum is already taking off his training top so Wijnaldum is getting stripped and ready for action the, the fact that he didn't move was uh, an ominous sign wasn't it Alan yeah he was um, as I said he just overran that uh, that ball so he was lunging in to, uh, to get the tackle, tackle and I thought it was Langley that caught him late because he just got to the ball before him but we said Liverpool would get chances in the uh, in the game they have they've got one goal could have had uh, another one but for uh, for a couple of, of decent saves they've had to rely on their goalkeeper also Alisson to um, to pull off a, a, a save or two but it's been a what what has it been a cracking 32 minutes it's been Henderson is still down at the moment 32 minutes on the clock this is a lengthy stoppage in play as Van Alden waits to uh, to come on a reminder that tomorrow night we are live in Amsterdam Ajax against Tottenham, Ajax of course lead by a goal to nil from the first leg in North London a week ago and on Thursday night we'll have commentary from the Mestaya, Valencia against Arsenal Arsenal who have a 3-1 advantage with updates of Chelsea against Eintracht Frankfurt, 1-1 from the first leg in Germany Henderson is up on his feet, he's uh, walking a little gingerly but he's over on that far side, gets a nice ovation from the Liverpool supporters and the Liverpool captain looks like he might well be in a position to continue. He's trying to walk it off. It's a drop ball. Liverpool will sportingly give the ball back to Barcelona. As we have 12 minutes to go to half-time. And Henderson returns to the field of play. BBC Radio 5 Live and Radio Merseyside. Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. To Stegen picks the ball up. Two central defenders have peeled out wide. But Liverpool with a combination of Shakiri and Origo and Mane from right to left have prevented the ball being thrown out short, so he has to go long. Alexander Arnold has it now midway through his own half. He turns and plays it forward. PK will volley the ball away downfield. Header from Van Dijk drifts out towards that far side to right, and Alexander Arnold will play the ball forward. Last touch ran off Origi. A Barcelona throw on that left hand side. That stoppage in play has just yeah. unsettled the rhythm of the game, hasn't it? And the crowd had just gone a little bit quiet for the first time as well. Throw that Liverpool will take. Alexander Arnold back to Mati. Alisson from his feet to Van Dijk. Virgil Van Dijk, his 150th appearance for an English club, his 50th in European competition, who's been immense this season for Liverpool as the ball is given away cheaply Suarez turns Messi behind him coming onto the ball now Messi though is challenged by Henderson Vidal slides in to win it against Henderson Messi loses out Milner takes it off his toes Milner now coming forward over the halfway line through the centre circle threads it forward Lenglet 
Well, Langley appeared to check Mane, but referee Kunet Shakir is certainly not endearing himself to the Liverpool supporters, says no foul. Great play from James Milner. Oh, he gets the ball off Messi and he drives it forward and he just passes that ball in behind there and Langley just sticks his arm out there and says, no way are you running past me, Mane. Ball cleared by Tishtegen. Robertson challenges Sergio Roberto. Vidal plays it forward. Messi releases it. Jordi Alba comes forward now, the left back over the halfway line. Vidal, little back heel. Touches the ball to Messi. Suarez sweeps it out now to Roberto. Right corner of the penalty area. Low ball in. Cleared by Van Dijk. Back to Roberto. Plays it in again. Headed away by Van Dijk once more. Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. And we have ten minutes of this incredible first half remaining. As Vidal then has caught Milner. And the ironic cheers will tell you that that decision has gone in favour of the home side. There is so much going on off, off the ball here. It's, it's Suarez running, trying to get into the uh, box. Matip blocks him. Then they're complaining that they're having a the little pop it, uh, it mess. It's happened all over the pitch. Liverpool 1, Barcelona 0. Nine minutes of normal time remain in the first half. Liverpool in all red, playing from right to left. Milner. Plays it short and forward, Origi, just over the halfway line running in field now, forward ball to Henderson, Henderson holds on to it midway through the Barcelona half and finds Milner, Milner plays it down the left hand side, Mane has taken PK with him, Mane does the little step over just outside the penalty area, down towards the byline, works over the cross, Coutinho inside his own penalty area plays it away, it's retrieved though by Shakiri. Fabinho, Back to Shakiri. Shakiri with a cross too close to Tishtegen. Coutinho doesn't like what he's having to do because the fullbacks are pushing that far on and Shakiri on that other side as well. Coutinho's having to defend in his own six yard box. The voice of Alan Shearer on BBC Radio 5 Live here at Anfield. Exclusive national radio commentary from BBC 5 Live. Ball played forward, up towards Mane, challenged by Roberto. Picked up by Rakitic, the Croatian international, runs forward, then plays it back to the halfway line. In their luminous shirts and shorts playing from left to right, Barcelona with Busquets being held a little bit by Fabinho. Free kick that Busquets will take, plays it out towards Jordi Alba, tried to lay it off first inside first time. Stopped by Liverpool, Henderson looks up, looks for the searching diagonal ball. Glance over the shoulder by Sergio Roberto. Mane was chasing him, plays it back to Tishtegen. It's exactly the same thing again. They get the foul on straight away, hand on the ball, and they want to get the ball back into play as quick as possible. Seven minutes to go at a half time. Messi plays it forward. Coutinho lifts it. Van Dijk will head it away. And then Robertson will head the ball in field. Matip and Van Dijk combine. Clear the danger for Liverpool. Barcelona have it though once again. Busquets just outside the centre circle. Ball played forward. Messi was onside. Alexander Arnold had played him on. Alexander Arnold prevents the ball from reaching Alba. Back with Alexander Arnold. Clears the left footed downfield. And Lengley will go across. Lengley keeps the ball in play. Plays it back to Sistegen. Has to clear it hurriedly. Comes to Fabinho. Forward ball to Milner. Milner gets it out from underneath his feet. Fabinho, forward of the centre circle. Now to Mane. On the overlap is Robertson if he wants him. Just outside the penalty area. Mane has his attempted cross charged down. Picked up by Milner. Mane comes under pressure. Challenged by Vidal. Inside now to Messi. Messi has to deal with Fabinho. And then Mane. Mane gets something on the ball, but it still somehow sticks to the feet of Messi. Who runs back into the centre circle. Vidal. The Chilean. Almost every outfield player is in the Liverpool half. Liverpool have two banks of four. Back behind the ball as Rakitic tries to curl it out to Jordi Alba and again it goes out of play for a throw. He is so good at that, isn't he, Lionel Messi, when he gets that ball and running up with, it, with, his, uh, with his left foot. He's so strong in possession. Fabinho has one, uh, one kick at him, then Mane has another kick at him and he still manages to keep hold of the ball. Robertson is down. Jurgen Klopp has already had cause for concern with Jordan Henderson and a, a knock to the knee and now Robertson at the moment is the physio coming on to tend to the Scottish international 
And again, there's a, a rather resigned look on the face of, uh, of Jurgen Klopp as his name rings around Anfield for somebody who is so popular here and has been such a, a bargain uh, of a signing. Eight million, Eight million. from Hull. Magnificent season he's had. Spotted by Steve Bruce when he was the uh, the Hull City manager. And uh, it was certainly an excellent bit of business. You know, you're talking about Messi. Well, it was a, a, a stat I saw in the, uh, in the Daily Mail from Dominic King last week when he'd scored his 600th goal for, uh, for Barcelona. That Ian Rush and Wayne Rooney, the record goal scorers for Liverpool and Manchester United, a tally of 346 and 253 goals combined. <laughs> Still, Messi outscores them. That bad, speaks volumes. It's not a bad record, is it? <laughs> it is absolutely ridiculous. 600 goals. Robertson, with the applause, I'm sure you've realised, he's back to his feet and ready to come on. And we have four and a half minutes as the ball went back to Alisson. And as he acrobatically volleyed the ball away, it was being closed down by Suarez. Liverpool still lead by a goal to nil. The crucial bit is the nil because that means that there is still genuine hope. A 3-0 scoreline at the end of 90 minutes and we go to extra time. And we all know what Liverpool can do in the second half of games. Messi. Vidal. Messi, closed down by Fabinho, but he manages to wriggle away from Fabinho. Messi still going, just outside the D. Goes back with Sergio Roberto, the right back. Vidal with his Mohican. Roberto. Liverpool... Just keeping their shape. Barcelona have the ball. Vidal gives it away. Milner plays it forward. Mane stabs it back. Milner plays a diagonal ball forward. Fabinho opens up his body. Looks for the ball through the middle towards Shakiri And cleared away by Tishtegen who came out of his penalty area. Matip midway through the Liverpool half. Directs his header out towards the right. Scampering after it. Alexander-Arnold midway through the Barcelona half. Alexander-Arnold Alexander comes in field. Shakiri. Plays it forward. Does it reach Mane? It was an outstretched leg that took it away from Mane and into the hands of Tishtegen. Just Gerard Piquet stuck that left leg out just at the, uh, at the last minute there when Mane was running in behind him. A vital touch. The Liverpool crowd playing their part too. They are not changing Barcelona. They're still looking for their goal. They're still, they still want their full-backs to push as far forward as Liverpool's are. Origi. For Liverpool, midway through the Barcelona half, goes on the outside of Rakitic. Origi, right-hand side of the penalty area, fires it in low. Piquet stood firm in the challenge with Mane. Henderson to Robertson, shot, shot, down, they're appealing for handball, and it'll go behind for a corner kick. It's good play from Origi down that right-hand side. He chose not to cross it the first time, but then put the uh, put the ball in. Mane nearly got to it, it comes out to, uh, to Robertson, and Vidal goes to close him down, and the shout from... The, the Anfield road end was handball, but no, it's gone out for that corner. That's the end that Alan Shearer is talking about, that Liverpool are attacking in all red, playing from right to left. Shakiri on this near side. Going to be an outswinging corner from the left, flicked on at the near post, drops to Alexander-Arnold down into the ground. Rakitic will lead the break for Barcelona, and Messi just waits. It's Piquet striding <laughs> through the middle. Messi, though, will curl the ball out towards that far side to Jordi Alba. Central position, back towards Messi, to Piquet. Piquet goes to ground, Liverpool now can break, and Piquet's out of position. But there are still four Barcelona shirts to Liverpool's red of two. And Barcelona curbed the counter-attack that never really had gained enough momentum. But it is helter-skelter stuff here at Anfield. Incredible that one, wasn't it? They get the uh, defend from the corner, and the furthest man forward, and you look up is Pique. That, that tells you how they're going to play and how they're going to carry on trying to score that uh, that goal. It's been a fabulous first half, where Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. Vidal, Rakitic in the centre circle. Rakitic to Busquets. Busquets with a curling ball to Sergio Roberto. The Barcelona right back is faced by Robertson. Vidal, there will be, I would imagine, at least three, maybe even four minutes of added on time. Messi collects the ball just outside the centre circle. 
and now almost at walking pace. Casually plays it to Coutinho. Back with Busquets. Sergio Roberto. Liverpool still working hard off the ball. Milner pushes Barcelona and PK back. Lengley clears downfield, strikes it long. Matip, though, with a drop-down header to reach Alexander-Arnold. And he plays it forward, but it goes out of play. It'll be a Barcelona throw on that far side, the left, as we're about to find out how much added on time there will be. I don't know about you, but I need a breather at half-time. It's just been absolutely relentless, hasn't it? It's been non-stop from that very first whistle. Four minutes of added on time, which we're now into here at Anfield. Will be a minimum of four a minimum minutes. Of four minutes. Time Milner goes back. Allison plays it out to this near side. His left back, Robertson, clears left footed. Origi didn't work hard enough when they were away to Porto and the Estadio drag out in the previous round, but he certainly put a little bit more of a, a shift in tonight as Busquets has left one on Fabinho and he's shown a yellow card. He's lucky there, you know. He runs into him, leading with his elbow. Just turns on the side, which the referee might see, and that might just save him. So Sergio Busquets shown a yellow card on the stroke of half-time. Fabinho himself was booked earlier in the half. Still Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. Are they able to fashion one more opportunity? in this first half or oh, they wait for words of wisdom from Jurgen Klopp in the half-time break chance to re-energise the batteries and those batteries will, certainly will need recharging giving it everything in this first 45 minutes and some Van Dijk back to, uh, to Alisson Alisson will play the ball short Matty Fabinho in front of him now on the ball just outside the centre circle Milner, Robertson like a Duracell bunny Andrew Robertson talking of batteries the way that he gets up and down this near side the left Milner plays it forward but it sails into the arms of Tischtegen Tischtegen will hold on to the ball it's been such a captivating first half though so fast Suarez trying to get away from Matty. Matty deals with it. Here is Fabinho. Fabinho opens it up. Robertson. Shakiri. Oh, he sold Robertson short with that pass. And Vidal was able to intercept Messi. Threads it forward. Sergio Roberto joining the attack. Sergio Roberto back to Messi. Messi's pulled it wide. Never struck it cleanly outside the air off his left foot. Always going away from goal for a goal kick. 1 0 Liverpool. Sloppy, wasn't it, from Shakiri to give that simple pass away to allow Barcelona to attack that back four, Liverpool, particularly that man, Messi, with his quick feet. Liverpool have never lost a home leg in a European Cup semi-final. They've won eight and they've drawn two. They're leading here by a goal to nil, but as it stands, they'll still be going out of the competition. They need to summon up two more goals without any reply from Barcelona. Origi, near side the left, just outside the penalty area, Vidal makes the challenge, it's a corner kick for Liverpool in stoppage time. He's been impressive as well, you know, Origi, he's led the line very well, pace, his touch has been good, he's brought people into the game, got his court, his team another corner. Corner kick then for Liverpool that Milner will take, Matip and Fabinho are in there. Headed away by Suarez at the near post. Shakiri's header inadvertently will go towards Jordi Alba. Up towards the halfway line on the left-hand side. Back inside to Coutinho. Suarez plodding on ahead of him. Messi waits. Messi's ball. Flag stays down. Alisson makes the save to keep out Jordi Alba. Another good save from Alisson. That's his third of this first half. A corner for, uh, for Liverpool, wasn't it? That's again Barcelona. That was the, the left back furthest forward this time with a one on one with, with Alisson. Good save. And there is the half time whistle for what has been a breathless first half where Liverpool still have hope but still have work to do. They made the perfect start with Origi's goal after seven minutes, but Alisson has denied Barcelona on three occasions. It has been a terrific first half, and at the break, it's Liverpool 1, 
Barcelona nil. People enjoying this on social media, remember you can get in touch with us 85058 on the text at 5 Live Sport on social media or you can use the hashtag BBC Football. Fabian on Twitter said this tie reminds me a lot of Barca Bayern in 2015. Both teams classy, small details decide and probably an away goal would kill a very courageous second leg. David Wallace says I'm not much of a football fan, I'm 80 years old and housebound, I've never even been to Liverpool but I'm caught up in the sheer emotion of this. The crowd is stirring, the fans are marvellous, it feels more like a national event than a local one and Luis Suarez getting special mention as you'd imagine Magnus said Luis Suarez has to be one of the most unlikable players in modern football history London money has probably got it just about on the money when he said Suarez is a wonderful player provided he's on your side and um, we can talk about him in, in a second the player I want to ask you about Alan is Sadio Mane how many positions do you reckon he's covered in that first half he's, he's been absolutely everywhere um, they, they don't know how to handle him they don't know whether to go tight on him or whether just to uh, to uh, to drop deep and let him get that ball, but when they're doing that, he's causing them all sorts of problems. And, and early on in the game, when we were, we were having the long balls from from Matip or, or from from Van Dijk over the top, he was running in behind and they still couldn't handle him. And, and also Origi, I think Origi's been a, a, a right handful and a right nuisance for for the Barcelona defenders. His hold-up play has been excellent. He's he's full of run and full of energy, full of confidence because of obviously that goal. And tell us about the goal. Tell us how Liverpool went ahead in this tie. Well, uh, Henderson, wasn't it, that the keeper, he just managed to get his hand to it. wasn't strong enough, but Origi following it up, as all good centre-forwards should do, and he's, he's been left with a, with a tap in him. What an ideal start it was for Liverpool, because the crowd were up for it. Liverpool went and demand closed that Barcelona back four down, went after them, and they got the reward for it. In a different way, but similarly to at the new Camp, Liverpool have had their opportunities in this game. However, we've seen that Barcelona can still hurt them. It's not by any means in, in Liverpool's hands this, this well, time. Ba Barcelona are not going to change the way they play. They want to score a, a goal. I mean, in, in, in the last minute of the half there, you've got their left back with a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. When they have the break from a corner, you've got Piquet running forward. He's the furthest man forward in the centre-forward position. So that tells you that they're not going to sit back. They want to attack. They still want to get the ball and they want to get that goal. Liverpool then 1-0 up at the break against Barcelona. 3-1 down though on aggregate with it all to do in the second half after a thrilling first half here at Anfield. We'll bring you that very shortly. Now though it's time for the BBC News with Nick Hatfield. On digital, BBC Sounds, smart speaker and online. This is BBC Radio 5 Live. Good evening. European elections will go ahead in the UK on the 23rd of May. The government admits a Brexit deal won't be passed in time. Our chief political correspondent is Vicky Young. The Prime Minister was extremely reluctant three years after the country voted to leave the EU to be going through another set of elections. It's something she wanted to avoid and you can see why given the results of the local elections. But I think they have realised now there simply isn't time to get the process, that's the talks with the Labour Party, to get any kind of conclusion from that. A prison officer has been seriously injured after he was stabbed in the head by an inmate. The attack happened this morning at Bullingdon Jail in Oxfordshire. It's believed the officer needed stitches but is now out of hospital. Police have identified the second woman found dead in a freezer in a London flat. She was 34-year-old Hungarian national Henriette Such. The other woman was missing mother of three, Mirakan Mustafa. A man from Canning Town has been charged with preventing a lawful burial. A British soldier has died in Malawi where he was taking part in an operation to tackle illegal poaching. Matthew Talbot, who was 22 and a member of the Coldstream Guards, was killed by an elephant while he was on patrol. Researchers from Oxford University say the time teenagers spend on social media only has a very small impact on their happiness. The study found that family, friends and school life all have a greater impact on well-being. Kim McCabe from the Rights for Girls group disagrees. Social media use has a powerful impact on their well-being because time spent on social media is time that they're not spending in face-to-face -face contact with their friends, with their family, being engaged in exercise or sleeping. And the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge say they're absolutely thrilled by the arrival of Prince Harry and Meghan's baby. Prince William says he welcomes his brother to what he called the sleep deprivation society that is parenting. What is, what, is, what is man without the beast? Or whatever happens to the beast will also happen to man. Breaks your heart. Doesn't matter who you are. 
Don't trust anyone. It's human greed that's killing these animals. I've never seen anything as gentle and as sweet. There is nothing more valuable than Rana Horn. They can kill a baby rhino and its mother, and they don't feel any remorse. Kevin Peterson, Beast of Man, the latest groundbreaking podcast from Five Live and BBC Sounds. Available to download now everywhere. This is Five Live Sport with Kelly Cates. And Five Live Sport comes to you live from Anfield this evening where Liverpool are 1-0 up against Barcelona on the night. 3-1 down on aggregate after a thrilling first half and the second half still to come in this game. Tottenham away at Ajax on Wednesday night in their Champions League semi-final second leg. They have it all to do. They trail 1-0 after the first leg. Much tighter than this one. We've got full commentary of this match on Five Live Sport from 8 o'clock with our football correspondent John Murray. Uh, John, you're in Amsterdam right now. We spoke to Chris Sutton, who'll be with you tomorrow night, who said he's not yet managed to go out and sample any of the city. So where do we find you this evening? Yes, thanks, Kelly. Welcome back to Amsterdam. We're actually not too far away from the Johan Cruyff Arena itself, just on the south side of the city, uh, the other side of the Amstel Park and the A2 motorway. And Chris Sutton is here with me. Chris, who played in the uh, Johan Cruyff Arena, it was just a plain old Amsterdam arena in those days against uh, a very good Ajax side in the Champions League qualifiers. Chris, happy memories? Yeah, I scored a brilliant goal, John. You obviously uh, didn't know that because I'm, I'm sure you would have said, uh, but we know we beat a good uh, young Ajax team. And, you know, we, we talk about this Ajax team now who are a step up. From, you know, they had the likes of Van der Vaart. Ibra, uh, a young Ibra was there. Um, so, no, they were a good team back then. Different kettle of fish now, though. Absolutely wonderful team. And, I mean, this would, this would be an absolute fairy tale story, you know, if Ajax could go all the way. I think I was reading last season in the Champions League, they got knocked out uh, in, in the qualifying round against Nice, and they didn't even get into the Europa uh, uh, League. I think Rosenberg beat them in, in the Europa qualifiers. So it tells you in such a short space of time, um, you know, how they have improved, and uh, they've been the story of this season so far, but can they see it through? Yeah. Well, even this season, they started out in this competition on the 25th of July. And here they are, one match away from the final. But as far as um, Tottenham are concerned, there are more injury worries. There's no Davinson Sanchez here. He's the latest one to join the injury list. Obviously, no Harry Kane. Uh, Serge Aurier is not here. Eric Lamella is here. He's been able to train. And as for Jan Fertongen, after he took that clattering last week... He is going to be involved and Maurizio Pochettino, the Tottenham manager, explained to us that he will be wearing a face mask, but this is what he had to say about Jan Vertonghen's condition today. He didn't suffer uh, nothing wrong more than he cut in his nose. It's no more than, than that. It's a lot of players playing play and keep playing with the same situation, you know, and it's not a big issue. It wasn't a big issue if tomorrow is fit. And we believe that uh, that we want to give the possibility to play. I think he's ready to play. It's not a problem. I think he no need a mask, but it's not a, it's not, it wasn't a big issue. Eh? So it looks as though Jan Vertonghen is going to be involved. No question about that, it would seem. Uh, and highly significantly from a Tottenham point of view, Son Heung-min is able to play, having missed the first leg through suspension. Yeah, I think in terms of Son, he was missed badly, uh, you know, in that first leg. He's such a versatile player, uh, you know, a goal scorer, a real threat. So that's a massive uh, boost for Spurs. And Vertonghen, of course, when, I have to say, when, uh, you know, when he, he nearly collapsed last week, you know, coming off the pitch, and I thought, you know, that that's him done. He's, he's not going to make this leg, but... Um, you know, they've obviously made the decision. Um, you know, it's good to see he is OK and is an experienced player and they will need all his experience uh, tomorrow night. Mauricio Pochettino said uh, today that he felt that Ajax in the first 30 minutes of the first leg were very, very good. He said they were dynamic, they had energy. He said, our approach was bad. And he talked today about how in the second leg here, they need to play with more freedom. Do you, do you think that he will have worked out a way to win this match and get through. Um, yes, I, look, I, you know, I think he talked about the lack of intensity in the first uh, game, but I actually thought Pochettino's, uh, Mauricio Pochettino's tactics, he got them wrong. 
uh, with the three at the back. When he changed, Tottenham were a lot more comfortable. Sissoko uh, came on and had a really strong game. Tottenham are still well in this tie. It's it's half time. They're a, they're a goal behind. We know they have goals. Uh, in this team and the, you know the pressure's off in many respects unless there's a miracle uh, you know at the weekend Tottenham uh, have secured their Champions League spot anyway so it's all it's all in they have to go all in now have a listen to this this was a little a little bit bizarre really in the in the media conference this afternoon when Maurizio Pochettino was asked how it would feel if he were to win the Champions League this season yeah, it should be fantastic no close uh, five year chapter and go home. Was that a joke or...? Well, it's not a joke. Why? Sorry, that, that makes it sound like you would maybe leave Tottenham if you won the Champions League. That that would be your work done. Yes, or maybe I work with Daniel sitting, and, you know, working in different, for, for sure. To win the Champions League with Tottenham in this circumstance, this season, maybe I need to think a little bit, maybe to do something different in the future. So that was all a little bit strange, Chris. And I must say that what we've done there is edit together all the pertinent points. It was it was all sort of said over a period of time. Maurizio Pochettino was smiling at one stage, hence the question um, from Matt Law of the Daily Telegraph there about wh- whether he was joking. It was a little bit difficult to know what exactly he was talking about. Yeah, I mean, my reading of that, and, and you were there, of course, and, and could see his, you, you know, his uh, his facial expressions, um, this, that, and the other. My reading of that was his uh, him saying, "I couldn't better this this season with this Spurs team. You know, they have been stretched. They didn't bring players in in, in the summer. This would be the absolute pinnacle." Uh, that's the way I read it. You know, I don't think he'll be going anywhere if if they win the Champions League. I think you think about building Champions League first and the Premier League. Well, they've got to win the semi-final, first of all, and we'll see if they're able to do that. The two of us will bring you commentary tomorrow night on Five Live here from Amsterdam. Looking forward to that, John. Thank you very much to Chris as well. Really interesting comments there from Mauricio Pochettino. Plenty of time to discuss them between now and 8 o'clock kickoff tomorrow. All the build-up from 7 o'clock on 5 Live Sport. We're here at Anfield where Liverpool are 1-0 up at the break against Barcelona. 3-1 down, of course, on aggregate. In the other sports stories this evening, England coach Trevor Bayliss says Alex Hales can come back stronger and better than ever after being removed from their World Cup squad for an off-the-field incident. Test Match Special has commentary of England's first ODI with Pakistan tomorrow from 12.45. Israel Falau has been found guilty of breaching Rugby Australia's code of conduct for his controversial social media posts. A decision is yet to be made on his punishment. England and Northampton forward James Haskell will retire at the end of the season. Britain's Johanna Conta and Carl Edmund are both out of the Madrid Open, but Roger Federer defeated Richard Gasquet 6-2, 6-3 in his first clay court match in three years. Alan Shearer, part of our commentary team at Anfield this evening. We talked about the positives for Liverpool, the fact that they are a goal up at half-time and the threat that Barcelona have posed in the first half and could continue to pose in the second half. In terms of negatives for Liverpool and concerns for Jurgen Klopp at half-time, uh, Duncan Alexander of Optifame uh, tweeted, Shakiri answering the age-old question, could a Stoke player do it on a mild Tuesday night against Messi? Is he Liverpool's weak link this he evening? Looked, he looked tired in the last 10 or 15 minutes. He gave away two or three sloppy balls, which Barcelona could have punished Liverpool. Um, so that w- it wouldn't surprise me um, that if he won, if he didn't come out at uh, half-time or two, if he was going to be, be another 10 or 15 minutes on the pitch, then it would be a change. It looks as though Gini Wijnaldum is just taking on fluids. He's just getting some last-minute instructions. He's sitting on the bench along with one of the coaching staff here at, at Liverpool. So it could be that he makes an appearance in the second half. The Barcelona players are already out as they make their way over uh, to the cop end of Anfield. They're lining up there. The goalkeeper Ter Stegen making his way between the sticks as he gets a round of applause uh, from those Liverpool fans in the cop. And the Liverpool players now making their way out of the tunnel. Shakiri is out with them, so let's find out if there have been any changes ahead of the second half with your commentary team of Alan Shearer and Ian Dennis. Well, Shakiri's out there, Henderson is out there. I wondered if Henderson's knee injury that he picked up that knock was not going to make him come out for the second half with Vinaldum stripped and ready for action. The player who hasn't come out is Robertson. So Milner looks like he's going to fill in at, at left back for Vinaldum to replace Robertson. So that is indeed the Liverpool change. Andrew Robertson unable 
to start the second half. As Liverpool now with have Alisson in goal, a back four of Alexander Arnold, Matip, Van Dijk, and Milner, a midfield of Fabinho, Van Alden, Henderson. and Henderson with Shakiri, Origi, and Mane. Barcelona are unchanged. To Stegen in goal, Sergio Roberto, Gerard Piquet, Clement Longley, Jordi Alba, midfield of Vidal, Busquets, and Rakitic, Messi, Suarez, and Coutinho. We're back underway for the second half, where Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. They trail 3-1 on aggregate, and Liverpool, in all red, are attacking as we look in the main stand from left to right. Therefore, they are attacking the cop end, as Alexander-Arnold will switch play out to Milner, now playing as a left-back. The versatile Milner forward to, uh, to Mane. Mane back with Milner. Jurgen Klopp yesterday was talking about, we will give it a try, let's take it step by step. Well, if the first 45 minutes are a big step, they now need to build on it as the cross comes in from the left-hand side and it goes behind for a corner kick. And Liverpool, as we all know, have produced some remarkable comebacks in the second half. Three goals in a six-minute spell in Istanbul. Three goals in the last 26 minutes in that epic tie against Borussia Dortmund. They require two in the next 45 without any reply from Barcelona to take us to extra time. Corner kick, Shakira to take it. Didn't beat the first man, comes out to Van Dijk, swings his left foot at that. Barcelona in their luminous shirts will break from right to left. And it's dealt with by Henderson to prevent for Coutinho get the ball first out for a Barcelona throw. Alan Shearer. Well, no Firmino, no Salah, now no Robertson. This would be incredible, wouldn't it, from Liverpool if they were to, uh, to get through this? Well, I was listening to the commentary with Mark Lawrenson and John Murray on the way back from Molyneux at the weekend, and John was talking to Laura, just saying if Liverpool were to do it. And Mark Lawrenson said it would be the greatest ever European comeback. Salah, what, 26 goals, Firmino with his 16, missing 42 goals worth the... Also, the, the work rate that Firmino does as well off the ball, and they are two huge losses for this Liverpool side, and now without Robertson, they will hope that he's OK to recover for that final game of the season against Wolves at the weekend, but this is the Champions League, and the ball is threaded through to Shakiri. Shakiri on the right-hand side, left-footed cross... Wijnaldum was waiting and it was just taken off his head by Sergio Roberto, out of play it goes Liverpool want to take the throw quickly on the left hand side, Milner to Fabinho back with Van Dijk, every outfield player is in the Barcelona half away towards our right hand side Milner they had to produce the perfect performance and gain the perfect result they lead by a goal to nil Milner with a throw, Mane the ubiquitous Mane just loses his footing and cleared then by PK. Towering header by Van Dijk and it runs away from Origi and out of play for a throw. It's good play from Shakiri on this right-hand side. He just cuts back on his left and he, he picks his head up and he looks at the far post, sees Wijnaldum there and it just didn't have enough on the cross to reach him. Headed forward by Milner, Busquets slides into that. Matip though will get there first and brings the ball forward, almost runs into trouble, plays it back. Fabinho out to Milner. Milner now is a left back, remember. Back inside to Fabinho. Ten yards forward of the centre circle. Chips it out towards Origi. Prevented from reaching to it by Sergio Roberto. Gives the ball away. The referee's definitely not a homer, is he? The way that he keeps on giving the decisions to Barcelona. And that will be a free kick to Barcelona over on that far side. Only twice. In a European Cup semi-final, has a team squandered a three-goal advantage. Panathinaikos in 71, when they lost 4-1 to Red Star Belgrade. Oh, sorry, Red, Panathinaikos overcame Red Star Belgrade. They lost 4-1, but won the second leg 3-0. And Barcelona themselves, actually against Gothenburg in 86, they lost the first leg 3-0, won the second leg by the same scoreline and went through on a penalty shootout. History... Not on Liverpool's side. The odds firmly stacked against Liverpool, but certainly on the evidence of what we've seen so far, they're giving it a damn fine go. 
Ball played forward by Van Alden. Mane takes it on into the penalty area and it's just taken away from him by Sergio Roberto for a corner kick. Never really in full control. No, he's, he's made an instant impact, hasn't he, Wijnaldum? Picking the ball up there, picking his head up, looking at uh, Mane, who was 20, 25 yards ahead of him, but he just couldn't get that ball under control. Tried to take it on his thigh, which then gave the defender time to come and tore poke it away for another corner. It's been... A thrilling second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Liverpool wants a second goal. In comes the corner kick! Beat now by the goalkeeper, Sistegen, from Van Dijk, who just hooked his left leg around it on the edge of the six-yard box, and to Stegen, it was straight at him, somehow swatted the ball away. Well, it was Alexander-Arnold this time with the ball in, whips it in, Van Dijk too strong, I think it was, for Pete, and he just flicks his leg around it, back heel, straight at the goalkeeper. Anywhere else it would have been interesting, Barcelona now on the attack, Suarez inside the penalty area, another good save from Alisson! Suarez against his former club, excellent strong wrist by Alisson, who was down, and to make the save, it's his fourth crucial save of this terrific second semi-final. Brilliant from Barcelona. The wit they hit them on the, the counter-attack and Suarez running in behind one-on-one -on -one from a tight angle. But what another impressive save from Alisson. He is doing his bit. You don't need to be reminded of the significance of a Barcelona goal. Rakitic. Strokes the ball back to Tischtegen. Busquets collects the ball off PK. Out towards Alba. Nicks it on the inside of Henderson. Runs into a bit of trouble. Well, he might have just caught a, a, a high foot there from Shakiri on the hip. And the Turkish referee, Kunit Shakir, gives the free kick to, uh, to Barcelona. It was just because of Van Dijk went up for that corner. He couldn't get back in time when he finds himself in between Milner and running in behind Milner. It was a bit of a tight angle, but nevertheless, still a good save. Busquets forward. The voice of Alan Shearer with us on BBC Radio 5 Live. Our commentary is also on BBC Radio Merseyside tonight. As Jordi Alba, the left-back, plays it back. Messi strikes Fabinho, comes back to Messi. Sergio Roberto, midway through the Liverpool half. Busquets goes square. Fractionally backward of square for Rakitic, plays it forward. Alba volleys over the cross from the left-hand side, headed away by Van Dijk, headed further clear by Van Alden. Mane, almost like a one-man crusade from Sadio Mane, and he will get a free kick because it was deliberate uh, handball by Rakitic. Again, so good from Mane, the hold-up player, the strength to uh, hold Rakitic off. So he has to foul him, yellow card. He has been magnificent, hasn't he, Mane, tonight? He has certainly stepped up to the plate in the absence of Salah and Firmino. As the red and white scarves are being swirled around their heads from the Liverpool supporters inside Anfield. Their side lead by a goal to nil. They trail 3-1 on aggregate. We're on the red button tonight. We're also on the BBC Sport website and the BBC iPlayer, as well as Radio 5 Live and Radio Merseyside. Mane in a central position. Out to Alexander-Arnold. Heads it forward but Henderson had vacated that space. Alexander-Arnold wins the ball back. Cross takes a deflection into the penalty area! Wijnaldum! Wijnaldum arriving! Sweeps the ball in! Liverpool have a second goal! And all of a sudden, the comeback is on! Life has really got interesting now inside our field. Liverpool 2, Barcelona 0. Well, we mentioned the strength of Alexander-Arnold down the right-hand side. He goes, he looks up, he picks his head up in that wide position. There's no one in there. So he drags the ball forward into the five yards, then picks out Wijnaldum in the box. He does pick him out on that penalty spot. What a finish. Wijnaldum, he's made such a massive impact in this game. Second half. Do you believe? Inside Anfield, everybody... Wearing red and white believes. The scars now are being swirled around their heads because they lead by two goals to nil. And we are only in the ninth minute of the second half. Such clever play from Alexander Arnold because he picks his, there's no one in there, so he can't put it in there. And he waits and he waits again until someone's there, until he can pick them out. And that's someone, one Alden, running in there. 
back of the net. As a matter of course, it will be checked by VAR. That is why we are yet to restart. Kunet Shakir, who, by the way, was the referee when Manchester City played Tottenham in that epic tie last time around. So he knows all about VAR. Plays back underway. Liverpool 2-0. There's always that anxious wait, isn't there? Here we go again. Listen to Anfield. Now there is hope. Now there is belief. It's coursing through the veins of everybody. Origi turns inside the penalty area, delivers the cross. Shakiri back to Milner on the left-hand side. Milner plays the ball to Shakiri. Shakiri with the cross. Van Alden! Unbelievable! Simply unbelievable! Van Alden again. Liverpool have overturned a three-goal deficit. They've wiped it out. The brilliant Barcelona are now back, level pegging. And Liverpool are threatening to do the impossible. 3 0. Look at Anfield, what a ball in this time from that left hand side. Who is it again? That man, White Alden, what a header, what a run, what a goal. Incredible. Oh, pinch yourself. Unbelievable. Inter Milan 65, San Etienne in 77, Olympiacos, Chelsea, Borussia Dortmund, this would top the lot. What a header, what a cross in from Shakiri on that left hand side. We, we thought he might have been one of the changes at half time, but a magnificent cross, just like two minutes earlier Alexander Arnold did from the other side. What an atmosphere this is. Liverpool 3, Barcelona 0. If it stays like this, we're going to extra time. Liverpool, forget extra time. Liverpool are going to win it in the 90 minutes. The last time that Barcelona lost a game 3-0 was when they squandered a three-goal advantage to Roma. Last season in the Champions League. That was last April. Just take a breath. Well, well, well. What is it about Anfield? Alexander-Arnold, Mane is there. Mane still battling for the ball. What is it about second-half performances? Because Barcelona, Alan Shearer, are absolutely rattled. Two minutes before that, we've got to give a mention to Alisson again to keep them in the game with that special save. Van Dijk. Van Dijk still coming. Van Dijk. Oh, the interception by Coutinho to Messi. Well... Even if Barcelona were to score, the Liverpool players have summoned up a performance of a beautiful failure. But forget failure, they're wanting for it to be a dramatic success. Henderson with a cross and Ter Stegen will gather it in. Because I don't think from the failure is in the, the vocabulary of these Liverpool players. What was it about Jurgen Klopp and his programme notes? This Liverpool never stops. This Liverpool never quits. We don't do if only. Well... What an effort from oh. every single player. Crowd are playing their part as well also. Just listen to the atmosphere. Anfield at its awesome best. Jordi Alba. Still the discipline is required. Still the concentration not to give Barcelona the goal. Rakitic, Jordi Alba, left-hand side, Messi runs away from him. He even looked ordinary then, Alan. Just for once. <laughs> Nothing ordinary about this game tonight, is there? Oh, bowled out by Alisson. Vidalden, 54 and 56, with those two rapid-fire goals. And still... You think of Dortmund, it was three goals in the last 26 minutes. Three goals in a six-minute blitz in Istanbul. We are now on level terms. And Liverpool have produced one of the great European performances as Semedo comes on to replace Coutinho. So it's a right-back for Coutinho. So Sergio Roberto 
would go a little bit further forward. Coutinho, on his return to Anfield, has made no impact. If you can still hear me, this is BBC Radio 5 Live and BBC Radio Merseyside. And the reason that Anfield is rocking the way it is, is that they lead by three goals to nil. <laughs> this place is brilliant now, eh? Listen to it. What an atmosphere. They're protecting a long and beaten run in European competition of 21 games. Going back some five years. But the odds were so heavily stacked against them. Their forward line depleted. But they have spirit, they have heart, they have belief, they have character in abundance. And they are showing it. And Barcelona, at the minute, do not have an answer. Their performance last week didn't warrant a three-goal defeat. They were unlucky not to get the away goal. But undeterred, they have produced something very, very special in these 61 minutes. And who knows what lies ahead in the next 29 of normal time, of regulation 90. Because if it stays like this, we're going into extra time. Is it always like this on the radio? <laughs> Only with you, Mr Shearer. <laughs> Only with you. Van Dijk. Henderson. Right-hand side. Henderson with a cross. Headed away by Piquet. Here is Origi. Battling for the ball. Alexander-Arnold to Milner. The crowd urged Liverpool on. And Mane can't keep the ball in play. It's like Barcelona don't know how to defend corners. Uh, crosses coming in into the box. No one prepared to uh, to go and head it. Yes, they're very good crosses and difficult to defend. But you've still got to pick up people. Liverpool 3, Barcelona 0. Wijnaldum coming on off the bench with two goals in the space of three minutes in the second half. Shakiri. Barcelona in the last two Champions League campaigns have lost second legs by three goals to nil as they've exited the competition. They haven't reached the semi-finals since four years ago and they're losing 3-0 a night and Liverpool now have a free kick. Alexander-Arnold places the ball down. Liverpool are attacking the cop end. They're playing from left to right. It'll be Alexander-Arnold with the outswinger or the inswinger from the left foot of Shakiri, who runs over the ball. Alexander-Arnold with the delivery. Headed away by Rakitic. Barcelona at the minute. They're rocking. They are rocking. Firmly on the back foot. And so is Anfield. 63 minutes play. Oh, Origi just couldn't control the ball. It runs out. Semedo will want to take it. Jurgen Klopp, when he was manager of Borussia Dortmund in 2014, lost a tie against Real Madrid in the first leg by three goals to nil. His oh. team left him feeling very, very proud as they fell short. They won the second leg by two goals to nil. This Liverpool side have gone one better. They lead 3-0 on the night. We could have extra time. We could have the unexpected. The last time that Barcelona lost 4-0 was to Paris Saint-Germain. Remarkably, they overturned that first leg defeat in the French capital. There could be less shell shocks here on Merseyside. Rakitic loses the ball but will win a throw off the legs of Shakiri. And still Liverpool not giving Barcelona a second on the ball. Their work rate has been phenomenal. Liverpool have won 13 of 27 UEFA ties when they've lost the away leg first. But they lost both when they had been beaten 3-0. Paris Saint-Germain in the European Cup Winners' Cup semi-final 
and then Strasbourg the following season in the UEFA Cup. They fell just short that night on both of those occasions by two goals to nil. They don't look like falling short tonight as they lead 3-0. And extra time is on the horizon. PK over on that far side. Semedo challenged by Milner. They've left everything out there as we see a shot of Steven Gerrard, the Rangers manager, in the stands here at Anfield. And Liverpool, oh, they believe. They came with hopes, they came with dreams, they could yet be realised. There was 122 seconds between the two Wijnaldum goals. As Henderson wins the ball, it runs loose. Wijnaldum then just overruns it. And Vidal to Busquets, to Messi. Hardly mentioned Messi in the second half. He holds off Fabinho. Messi then is stopped by uh, Matip. That'll be a yellow card. That'll be a free kick. And Matip is booked. I think that's what you call a good foul. Because Messi was running through, went past one, then two, then three. He'd have been into the 18-yard box in another five yards' time, so he had to bring him down. And what, 30 yards out, central position? Very similar. <laughs> is that where you're going? I was just thinking, <laughs> does lightning strike twice? <laughs> Suarez with his hands on hips, having a word with Fabinho. Liverpool have everybody back. That's the one thing that Liverpool have to guard against. Messi places the ball down. The boos and whistles. Intrepidation. Everybody knows what Messi is capable of. Barcelona. If ever there was a time for some messy magic it's now but it is just a shade over 30 yards out but we know that he scored from this position before Liverpool lead 3-0 on the night Messi's eyeing it up it's a direct free kick Alisson waits in the centre of his goal Messi hits the wall the loose ball will run behind and Milner will volley the ball away but it will go behind for a corner kick Wall stood strong, did its job. Absorbing, captivating, thrilling, mesmerising. Use any word you like to sum up what this second leg has been like here at Anfield. It's been another special night, regardless of the outcome. Corner kick, taken short, worked into Rakitic, popped back up. Messi brings the ball down and saved by Alisson at his near post. Well worked by Barcelona. Well worked, wasn't it? The ball comes out to the edge of the 18-yard box. Messi continues his run from the corner and it's another decent save from the goalkeeper, Alisson. I reckon that's the fifth fine save that Alisson has made. The fifth important save that Alisson has made. The fifth important save to deny Barcelona. Because one goal from Barcelona and Liverpool then would require five. Corner kick taken by Barcelona towards the far post and it goes away from Suarez. And in front of their silent travelling support, Liverpool have a goal kick that they want to take quickly. BBC Radio Five Live. Exclusive commentary here from Anfield with BBC Radio Merseyside. We're on the red button. We're on the BBC Sport website. We're on the iPlayer. Tomorrow night we're in Amsterdam. And if that game is anywhere near as thrilling as, uh, as this, then we're in for another treat of our second night of live European football, followed by Arsenal in Valencia on Thursday. As Mane picks up on the ball, goes on the outside, keeps the ball in, plays it away, headed clear by PK, runs out of play for a throw for Liverpool, left-hand side. He just went past Busquets with ease, didn't he? The little step over, got to the byline. There was only one person in the box, though, this time Shakiri From the throw... Mane loses out, Van Dijk forward, looks to head it out towards the left-hand side, cut out though by Barcelona and Sergio Roberto, played back, Busquets, forward ball. We are midway through the second half, and Liverpool lead by three goals to nil on the night for what has been an epic night at Anfield. And it's still not over. Boy, is this tie still not over. Rakitic drills the ball 
out to Jordi Alba. Brings it down off the chest. Outside of the left boot. Played forward. Cut out by Liverpool. Fabinho running forward. Wijnaldum strokes it across towards Milner. Back with Wijnaldum once again. Plays it forward as Milner advances on that left touch line. Back with Wijnaldum. The Liverpool support has been unwavering throughout. And once again, they will raise their voices as they raise their red and white scarves above their heads as the ball is played out to Milner. And the cross comes in. Couldn't get there, Origi. Picked up by Tishtegen. Alan. That's M Milner forward this time. Instead of whipping it in with that left foot, he chooses to come back and do it with the uh, with the right. Oh, just two yards too quick for Origi and then straight into the goalkeeper. Barcelona have only failed to score on five occasions this season. Two of them have uh, appeared recently when they played their youngest starting 11 in 24 years against Huesca in between Manchester United. And then at the weekend when they changed the entire 11 against Celta Vigo. The Celta Vigo inflicted their first defeat in 24 against Barcelona. And still Liverpool closed down. Still they've got their press. Then it's a wonderful ball out to that left-hand side for Milner again. And he's midway through the Barcelona half. Inside to Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum to Mane. Mane back to Milner. They've been magnificent, these Liverpool players. As uh, Mane just runs back. There is a, a control about Liverpool's play now that they have that third goal. There isn't that urgency now that they have levelled the tie overall. Because we are level on aggregate at three apiece Van Dijk back to Alisson Alisson will play it forward all in grey and his pass drifts out of play for a Barcelona throw 18 and a bit minutes remain yes. Semedo right hand side back with Busquets now it's on a knife edge, Alan Shearer. Oh, it's so tight, isn't it? can go either way with the ability that they have still going forward. Semedo is forward on the right, down by the corner flag. He's got some support from Sergio Roberto. Back to Semedo, the substitute to Busquets. Busquets runs in field. Rakitic now. Every Liverpool player is back behind the ball. They're playing from left to right. Rakitic once again. Lengley. He plays it uh, out towards Alba, and then Van Dijk has played it away from Suarez, and Alisson was unable to keep the ball in play. Offside. Offside, though, against Suarez. Free kick. Which gets a bigger cheer, just because it's Suarez. <laughs> There's going to be another change for, uh, for Barcelona. We're going to be seeing Arthur coming on, the Brazilian midfielder. So he's going to be coming on for... Another change made by Ernesto Valverde, the Barcelona coach. He's only lost 10 of his 115 games. Fine record since he took charge. However, hopes of a treble are in jeopardy by this Liverpool side who just do not know when to stop, when to give up. They just do not throw the towel in. Manchester City will testify to that. Manchester City 95 points, Liverpool 94 in the Premier League. But the players have carried out the message from Jurgen Klopp yesterday to an absolute tee. They've given it a try. As now they have some defending to do. Jordi Alba. Rakitic, Messi plays it forward, dealt with by Matic, Henderson. The next goal could be the deciding goal as we have 16 minutes remaining. He's been relentless up and down this left-hand side as well, hasn't he, Alba? Yeah. Well, it's uh, going to be Vidal, Vidal who comes off. So, like for like with the Brazilian midfielder replacing the experienced Chilean. He, he looks absolutely shattered walking off that pitch because he's had the run around in there. So Arthur is on. 
just think as well if you think about how much energy has been expended by both sets of players out here in this scintillating tie and Barcelona's players didn't play at the weekend though no they didn't made the 11 changes but if they did have to go for extra time and summon up another 30 minutes <coughs> to Stegen we're about to enter the last quarter of an hour of the regulation 90 and it's it's in the balance it's on a knife edge Liverpool lead 3-0 on the night 3-3 on aggregate Mane keeps the ball in play then he's pulled back Semedo that'll be a free kick to Liverpool and a yellow card to the Barcelona substitute Nelson Semedo shown yellow no surprise again that Mane working his socks off tra tracking back to win that ball back then trying to get into the final third and he's off again free kick taken too back. quickly he really has been so impressive this evening. He's led from the front. Barcelona, the only undefeated side left in this season's competition, are going to suffer their first defeat. They previously won eight and drawn three. And they're about to face another ball whipped into the box. As the free kick is taken short, Milner comes in then from distance from Alexander-Arnold off his right foot, always on the rise as it goes over the crossbar and into the cop. I'm surprised at that with the, with the problems they've caused them with balls into the box today they've got an opportunity to whip it in they've got Van Dijk forward and they, and they choose to go short and let Trent have a shot from 30-35 yards out but you couldn't call it now could you? no can go either way just been incredible what a night 14 minutes remain Henderson's forward ball stopped by Alba played forward then by Lenglet he was part actually of the Sevilla side that came back from Liverpool in the Champions League a couple of seasons ago when Liverpool were 3-0 up in Seville and ended up drawing 3-3 role reversal time Liverpool have produced the comeback this time Shakiri stabs it forward to Origi did he have his legs taken away from him from Lenglet the referee says no Busquets PK, Semedo the right back is over the halfway line. Busquets back with Arthur. 13 minutes of normal time remain. Liverpool would gladly have taken extra time at the start of play. Absolutely. Here is Sergio Roberto. Jordi Alba left corner of the penalty area, rolls it in, dealt with by Matty. They've negated the threat of Messi and Suarez particularly in this second half Liverpool however have still got to be so vigilant as Lenglet will play the ball forward they've just got to try and keep the pace up Liverpool because you just feel as if it can sense it that Barcelona are just slowly coming back into it having a little bit more possession if Liverpool can keep that pace up very difficult I know but that's their best opportunity. Here is Shakiri. Alexander Arnold waits right hand side, level the penalty area almost at walking pace. Shakiri then in field to Henderson. Five live and Radio Mersey side with 12 minutes of normal time remaining. Extra time now does loom large. Alexander Arnold up against Sergio Roberto and wins a corner. He edged him, he took him right to the byline and then off his knees wins a corner kick. Very clever play. He knows that. He's standing in front of him. He's blocking him. Oh, yeah. it comes in! Oh, it's, it's a quick corner! It's a Rigi! Liverpool for Barcelona now! And Liverpool may well have produced the greatest European comeback ever! The greatest European comeback ever! Unbelievable! Oh, my oh, word! No. How clever! Trend Alexander Arnold. We talk about crosses, they go to sleep. He takes the early one, he whips it in Arigi. There's no one around him. Free shot, six yards out. Wow! What's it him? The craft, the ingenuity of Alexander Arnold to walk away from the corner kick and then play it in towards Ariki. And Barcelona were caught napping.
and Liverpool lead by four goals to three. They go to sleep, they've turned their back on the corner, they've just let him put it in before they realise it's too late, it's in the back of the net. The greatest European comeback ever is now a possibility. Liverpool four, Barcelona nil. And Barcelona now have to score in the next ten minutes. Rakitic off. Malcolm's going to replace him. Barcelona, the mighty Messi, the brilliant Barcelona, humbled. Unless they can produce something in the next ten minutes. Liverpool defying belief here. A depleted Liverpool forward line. We're talking about crosses into the box, about them not being able to defend them. They turn off, they turn the back. It's a Champions League semi-final. No one wanted to face the ball. Brilliant from Alexander-Arnold. Too clever for them. Gomez is going to be coming on for Liverpool. Forget extra time. Liverpool now are dreaming of the final. Remarkable, incredible, astonishing. None of the words do it justice here at Anfield. We are seeing one of the great European performances. The pressure, the work rate, the stamina, the desire from every single Liverpool player has been incredible. Here is Messi. Messi running forward, loses the ball, cleared away. He said, let's make it a celebration with lungs and legs. And the Liverpool supporters now are doing their bit to try and carry Liverpool over the line. Semedo with a cross right-hand side. Here cleared away by Shakiri. It's only been done twice before that a three-goal deficit in the semi-final overturned. 71 and 86. Liverpool are adding their own place oh. in European history. Alden, excellent footwork. Origi, Origi with a cross. Comes out now to Shakiri. Shakiri waits. It will be the greatest Liverpool night they've ever experienced. Alexander Arnold wins the corner. Handball. Handball, it'll be a free kick against Jordi Alba. Guess where this is going to go this time? <laughs> I'm struggling to catch my breath. <laughs> it's a free kick. Shakiri is going to come off. Joe Gomez is going to replace him. It's a defensive substitution by Jurgen Klopp. You do not blame him. Liverpool 4, Barcelona 0. But Origi's down in the far corner there, so they're just reluctant to make it at this moment in time. Everybody has put in a shift in red. Well, the fans have played their part as well. The goalkeeper, when he's had to be relied on, he's made four or five superb saves. But the pressure and the closing down and the energy that these Liverpool players have shown has been staggering. It is. Has been an unbelievable... I'm almost lost for words. Just in a shot of a Barcelona supporter who cannot believe it. He's buried his head in his hands. Origi, Origi will be suffering from cramp over on that far side. But they've left everything out there. But the, the manner of the fourth goal as well. You've got to admire Liverpool's craft, their ingenuity. Yeah, they were but, too clever for them. They were too bright for them. They stayed alive. Barcelona looked dead on the feet then. They all turned their back. They wanted to rest. And Alexander-Arnold was having none of it. He wanted to get the ball back into play because they were under pressure. He did. He picked his head up and he whipped it in. And Origi standing still. No one within five or six yards of him on the six-yard line defending a corner. It's incredible. Listen to the noise inside Anfield. It's a night 
that will live with every Liverpool supporter for as long as they live. A red and white chequered flag flies in the cop. Red and white scars being swirled around their heads as Origi is unable to continue. So Joe Gomez was going to replace Shakiri, But Shakiri will stay out there. And it will be Divock Origi. Divock Origi who set Liverpool on their way with a perfect start after seven minutes. Divock Origi with potentially the winning goal 11 minutes from time. Divock Origi who's only started four occasions in his previous 17 appearances this season will go down as a Liverpool legend. You talk about David Fairclough against San Etienne in 77. Divock Origi has created his place in history for Liverpool in 2019. Along with Wijnaldum as the free kick is taken and swept in. Liverpool lead by four goals to nil. Milner plays the ball in, flag stays down, Shakiri with the header, over the top. Clever ball in from Milner, this time with his left foot. Mane and Shakiri at the far post, just too long for Mane. And Shakiri with a free header, puts it over the bar. Well, when he was asked yesterday, it might have been from Juliet Ferrington actually in the press conference, you know, do you have any hope? And he said, there is hope and it's football. But then he tempered it with a dose of realism when he said we have, well, without two of the world's best strikers who are not available. So we'll give it a try. We have to score, but we also have to deny Barcelona from scoring. Liverpool have scored four times. And the mighty Barcelona have been denied. And we are now four minutes away from 90 minutes. There will be no extra time now. That is no longer on the cards. That's been taken off the table. That's not possible. So Liverpool are going through, unless Barcelona can break their hearts. 4-0 to Liverpool. The ball played out towards Semedo. The boos and whistles will tell you that Liverpool are not in possession. This is Arthur, the Brazilian. Plays it out towards Semedo. Mistake by Piquet. Every outfield player is in the Liverpool half. Barcelona attacking the Anfield road end. They play from right to left. The boos and the whistles grow. Reaching a crescendo. Messi's now on the ball. Matip's to close him down. Messi, square and short. Busquets plays it forward. Ball played out. Cross come, is going to come in from Jordi Alba. Stopped by Alexander-Arnold. Alexander-Arnold will bring the ball away. Barcelona are back in possession. Played out towards Semedo. Barcelona now are threatening. Liverpool have everybody back bar Mane. PK joins the attack. Liverpool with a time ticking away against Barcelona. Cross from Semedo. Alisson will gather the ball in. It's exactly what Liverpool want. Long balls into the box. For Van Dijk if he's there. This time it's Alisson. Too much height on it. He collects it with ease. Two and a half minutes remain. Liverpool are going to make another change. And the change that is going to be made is Daniel Sturridge, who is going to be coming on. Barcelona. Play the ball forward. Semedo's after it. Gomez tries to tug him back. Semedo gets away, pulls the ball back. Van Dijk steps forward and Van Dijk deals with it. Milner now will clear over on that far side. It's a long clearance. Nobody inside Anfield is going anywhere. I doubt anybody listening to Five Live or Radio Merseyside is turning off just quite yet. As Barcelona come forward, looking for a goal. Here is Messi. Suarez helps it on. Malcolm inside the penalty area, chips the ball forward. Runs off the head of Gomez and Milner will clear surely. Milner waits, runs the ball down the touchline. And it will be a Barcelona throw over on that far side and we have under 90 seconds remaining of normal time. Defend them incredibly well. Every single man behind the ball doing their bit now under huge pressure from this Barcelona team. Well, Liverpool supporters are up and out of their feet as the ball is headed away by Van Dijk because they are close. 
they are close to producing what was deemed by many as almost the impossible task. Leading Liverpool Barcelona by four goals to nil. We're inside the last 60 seconds of normal time. Sturridge is going to be coming on. And it's Shakiri who is coming off. Did a lot better second half, Shakiri. A lot better. Got on the ball, caused problems, whipping balls into the box. Much better second half than he was first half. Messi produced the magic in the new camp. Liverpool, as a collective, have produced their own magic here on Merseyside. Jurgen Klopp embraces Shakiri. It's all eyes on the fourth official. How much added on time there will be. Five minutes of added on time, which we're now into. Liverpool 4, Barcelona 0. Five more minutes to endure. Five more minutes for Barcelona to conjure up something, otherwise they're heading out. What a half he's had as well, Wijnaldum. Closing down goals. He's been everywhere this second half. Arthur just outside the centre circle. Semedo on the right-hand side. These five minutes will seem like an eternity for Liverpool. Mane still going. He's helped win the ball back. Sturridge plays the ball forward. Mane will go down towards the corner flag, will he? Left side of the penalty area. Plays it to Henderson. Henderson back to Mane. Mane! Denied by the goalkeeper. Tried to scoop it over. Just Flags offside. <laughs> Incredible, wasn't it? A little one-two. I thought Henderson was just going to leave the ball for Sturridge running in behind him then, but he didn't. He flicked it back into Marnie, who was offside, but it was a late flag. PK. Back with Busquets. Four and a bit minutes remain. Ball play forward to Jordi Alba. Alba with a cross. PK's there. Malcolm. Sergio Roberto tried to drag it into the path of Messi. And Liverpool with Milner will hang on to the ball. Milner with a diagonal ball out towards Mane. The composure for the cushion header back to Alexander Arnold. Henderson doesn't have the energy to chase that. He's out on his feet, Jordan Henderson. The driving force from midfield. Three minutes of added on time remain. Liverpool 4, Barcelona 0. Barcelona will come again. They have to come again. They're going out. Defending heroically here, Liverpool. Every single one of them. Behind the ball now. Having to work. Having to track back. Having to pick up in the box. Here is Malcolm, left corner of the penalty area, under pressure from Alexander-Arnold. The Liverpool support now with the anthem of You'll Never Walk Alone. To try and see Liverpool over the line. Ball played forward. Two and a bit minutes remain. Barcelona with Busquets into the penalty area, headed away by Alexander-Arnold. Busquets. Back with Barcelona once more, but they can't get past this Liverpool side who are digging deep. They're being resolute. And there is Fabinho to break up the play. And then Fabinho goes down. That'll be a free kick. Liverpool have a free kick just outside the centre circle. Alan Shearer. Great anticipation from Fabinho. He wins that ball off Lionel Messi. He's strong. He's too quick for them. And again running into that Barcelona defence. Wins the foul for his team. He will stay down. He will eat up the seconds. Do you believe what you're witnessing? It's just been incredible. The atmosphere from the start of the game. Then the players responded by putting that performance in. Getting that goal early in the game. And they've just got bigger. They've got better. They've had to make changes, substitutions. It hasn't affected them at all. It's improved them. It's been staggering night. 
Liverpool 4, Barcelona 0. And by my watch, we're inside the last 60 seconds of the minimum of five to be added on. Five live and ready on Merseyside. When the whistle blows from the Turkish referee, you will not hear me speak. You will probably not even hear yourself think, wherever you are, whether you're on Merseyside or beyond, because the cheers and the celebrations will be absolutely deafening inside Anfield because Liverpool are heading to another Champions League final and they shall not be moved. The free kick is taken short on the far side. Two goals from Origi, two from Van Elden. There is the full-time whistle. Liverpool 4, Barcelona 0. Wild, wild celebrations. It has been a monumental effort on Merseyside. It is the greatest ever European comeback. It is an unforgettable night. And Liverpool, would you believe, have humbled the brilliant Barcelona and the mighty Messi in the most astonishing of circumstances. I have never seen anything like this. I've played at Anfield when it's been a superb atmosphere. This is something different tonight. This is special from the from the whistle. Every single player, the fans, the manager, everyone. Be very proud because you've witnessed something special tonight. It's been incredible from all the players. The goals, the atmosphere, the decisions that went forward and against them, the players they had to play without, then Robertson off at half-time. Wow. The Barcelona supporters are actually applauding. The Barcelona fans are applauding because they realise, they acknowledge the effort that these Liverpool players have put in. And the Liverpool players, amidst the wide celebrations, are acknowledging the cop. The supporters, every single one of them is on their feet. Kelly, you will know. For generations, they talked about Milan in 65, San Etienne in 77, Olympiacos, Chelsea and Dortmund. This tops the lot. This has been a night truly to savour. Alan Shearer, it's your job to explain what just happened. I've run out of words, Kelly. I can't. I've, I've never seen anything like it. As I said, I've played here. I've been fortunate to, to have some unbelievable results here and performance I've never seen Anfield like this I've never seen the fans so as excited driving their players forward from start to finish it has just been relentless it's been incredible was it down to the way that those players played or was this just one of those nights that occasionally rarely only three times now in European Cup history happened well they, they showed their intent right from the off they thought you know what if we're going to go out tonight we're going to go out fighting we're going to go out giving it an unbelievable go and that's what they did they went to close down there was no space for any of those Barcelona players and we're talking about Busquets we're talking about Pique we're talking about Suarez about the best player that I seen Messi they couldn't handle it tonight they couldn't handle the pressure that they were under that they were being put under the stadium announcer here at Anfield a man called George Sefton who's been here since the days of the 60s and Shankly's both standing on the terrace and in that booth where he operates the music from has timed this song absolutely perfectly Alan we could go through and we will take some of this a little bit in a little bit later but we could go through that Liverpool team and pick out performances oh. How Divock Origi and his ability to just get those all-important goals. Well, he, he, he's, he's playing against Gerard Piquet and his hold-up play, his running in behind, his finishing. He's obviously taken great confidence from that early goal that he got, but he ran them absolutely ragged. They couldn't handle him. Superb he was.
And while they take a dip, before they go again, there's Anfield crowd right in front of the cop. The Liverpool squad, the Liverpool backroom staff are standing arm in arm in a line in front of them. The ones on the end have their arms aloft as they join in with the famous Liverpool anthem on the night where they've had this famous win over Barcelona, 3-0 at the Nou Camp. But here tonight at Anfield, they've beaten Barcelona 4-0 to go into the Champions League final. It was such a difficult task. Alan, lots of the talk before the game was about the players who were missing. It was about missing Mo Salah. It was about missing Roberto Firmino.